A couple of weeks ago, Figma introduced a whole bunch of new updates into their software, and one of those was text truncation. And I just haven't really seen anyone talk about this, but I think it's a really cool new addition to Figma because it just makes the process of truncating your text just that much easier. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you could truncate your text automatically through Figma. So grab a mouse and keyboard and let's get right into it. As usual, everything that you see over here is available for download right down below the like button. And you might as well like and subscribe while you're there. So first of all, let's go through the assets that we have. We have a color palette, which this time I have actually set it up within the variables. Um, these are new to Figma. I will create a video on these later on, but I do have a bunch of core colors, um, neutral colors, a color for outline, and I also have my spacings all under variables at the moment. So we'll be using these in order to create our components. The actual designs are underneath designs. By the end of these, this might look a little bit different, but you could just basically pick this one from the left and that's the one that hasn't been touched. So if you want to follow this tutorial, just go grab these and just follow along. So in the past, in order to truncate your text, you would have had to basically come over here and let's just say you wanted to truncate this into three lines. You would have had to delete the amount of text that you think you might want to delete. So right over here, delete that and then just add your ellipsis right in front of a text. But then you've actually lost the text completely. And later on, if you wanted to sort of increase this into four lines, then you would have had to paste the text back and go over here, delete this, and then do the same thing. However, with the new Figma update, this is now much, much easier. So the way that you would do this, this is the text content that we have. We could very simply grab this, put it in here. All of these are built within other layouts. Hopefully you already know how to use all the layouts. If you don't, just go check out my video on all the layouts as I explain all of these different concepts there. But basically we can select the text over here, the lorem ipsum text. We could come over here underneath type settings and where it says truncate text, click that and you can see it automatically truncated, but you could just use this in order to increase or decrease the number of lines that we have. So I want this one to be specifically three lines and then I wanted to truncate and because this is set up within other layouts I can actually resize this and you can see as I resize it the text automatically just calculates where it needs to cut off and add the um, ellipsis for me. The exact same thing is possible through almost every single component if you set it up properly. So I've got my car title component over here. I'm going to select the text, go over here, ellipsis and I do want this one on the one line and it even works in a situation where it's a title. So I can come over here, tap on ellipsis, and I've got this. And as I said, all of these are completely responsive. It doesn't really matter how large or how small your component kind of gets and in what situation. Cool, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As usual, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, don't forget to follow me on different social medias using my website, repixel.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, as that would help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.